Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve equations with fractions using the addition, subtraction, and division properties of equality. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. We want to solve y plus 9 over 16 equals 5 over 16. Well, right here, I'm kind of dealing with my subtraction property of equality, I'm thinking. I want to bring the 9 sixteenths to the right. So, if I'm going to rewrite this, I have y plus a 9 sixteenths. I can subtract that same exact amount, 9 sixteenths, to both sides of the equation. All right? Right or left-hand side, 9 sixteenths minus the 9 sixteenths, they cancel out leave me with y by itself. Now, 5 and a 9, and those are the numerators, right? We can subtract them directly because the denominator is the same at 16. So 5 minus a 9 is a negative 4. Now, this simplifies. 4 and 16, well, 16 divided by 4, we have a 1 right there. So y equals a negative 1 fourth right here is our answer when we solve it. Now, Let's check this. How do we check it? We rewrite our equation, y plus a 9 sixteenths equals a 5 sixteenths. And we're going to plug in this one, negative 1 fourth in for y. Negative 1 4 plus 9 sixteenths equals a 5 sixteenths. From there, we want to, well, simplify the left and right hand side. Now, we need a common denominator for these two fractions, negative 1 fourth and 9 sixteenths. Well, if I multiply this by a 4 over a 4, right, I'll have a 16 in the denominator. So now I have a negative 4 up top over a 16 plus a 9 sixteenths equals a 5 sixteenths. Let's see. Common denominator, 16. We're good. The top, negative 4, or numerator, negative 4 plus a 9 is a positive 5 equals a 5 sixteenths, and we're good. Our check showed the left and right hand side were equal, confirming that a solution to our equation was y equals negative one fourth. Hope you learned something here on how to solve equations with fractions using the addition, subtraction, and division properties of equality. If you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.